Welcome back to the V for Vanilla server, and we are back after a short little week break there. Was out of town for a little bit, but now I'm back. Tried to get one out for you last week, but wasn't quite back in time. Today, we're going to start things off at the base, and I promise today, no creepers. We're staying away from the creeper field, from creeper shops, everything like that. We did two episodes in a row on that. So we can take a little break there. We've got a little base update. I've been working a little on that back storage room. This is going to be... Uh, we got enchanting here and the kitchen here, which I like a lot. In the back room for tools and that sort of thing. I don't know. It's just kind of bland. I need some way to to spice it up a little bit. We can put in a carpet. But maybe it's just the, the cyan clay looking so gray. It's just kind of a boring room, especially compared to these two that I like so much. I really like the kitchen. That's probably my favorite room in this place so far. And the enchanting room's okay. Once we get some of the chests cleaned up, it'll look a little bit better. And that is why we need this room for tools and armor. Maybe even books, because we're going to have so many books. Yeah, we're going to have to figure out something to do in this room. We'll see. Maybe... Yeah. Yeah, we'll find something. The other thing that I ha thought that I had right before I started shooting the intro there... This, this green clay on our farms over there. What if we did glass? What if we had a band of glass? We kept the dark greens... I like the dark green, it's a nice contrast to the mesa. But instead of the, instead of the lime, put in some glass. Maybe blue, maybe lime. I'm going to take a look at that and see if I can figure out something mm -hmm. for this other room in the back for our storage. And I'll be right back. And I believe it is time for a quick trip to spawn. We will head through the nether. Hopefully that's uh, still somewhat safe. Let's see. I think we've got our temporary portal still in action. We've been working on doing some of the glass glass work for the for the new hub, but for now you can see the path down there, stretching all the way in that direction. We got our little circle, and we're at least most of the way in that direction. So a lot of the glass done, but still the got to put some walls on it so people don't go don't go falling off. And what I wanted to do at spawn is get uh, games death live. Let's check death games real quick. Oh, see money safe for for now. I'm on with tricky at the moment, and we're gonna head over to games death. See how many people have signed up. Chicken. I think somebody's been throwing eggs at spawn. I've been taking out all these chickens. Oh, a rabbit. That's a natural spawn. Got sheep. Got some animals spawning. Let's see who we have on the wall. We have the original six that I've seen already, and exotic signed up as well. All right. So let's make sure that everything looks good. Inside, we'll check out all the names. We've got six on the wall. Hopefully, that means we have six in here. And they should all be in these four, five, six. The no killing. Is there no name in there at the moment? Me, seven. All right, somebody didn't didn't put their name on the wall. Let's find out who that is. Tricky, Oda, C Money, Biz, RJ. Exotics. Alright. Find the missing name. RJ, C Money, Biz, Tricky, I'm lost. Am I miscounting? Seven names. Should be seven swords. Did I do something wrong? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm just crazy. 
we're all good. We got seven swords and seven names. And I believe the last thing to check, make sure our yeah, we got twenty five percent chance in there. So we're set. We can go live. Take that sign down. Boom. That's all it takes. Now it's active. Our armor and weapons. Yeah, we had one set. One set's all you need because you can only be one hunter at a time. And hopefully everybody returns it. None of it gets lost, right? Right. That's definitely going to work. Uh, we got lots of people still to be entered. Okay. I should clear it. I'm not going to make it live with my name in the chest. There we go. Now we're officially we're officially good to go. There we go. Game's death. Live and active. Let the killing begin. And we're back. Let's take a look from this same intro viewpoint again. And I think that green glass is looking pretty fine. Definitely an improvement. Makes it look a little more dynamic. Looks kind of like a neon green. It's cool. You can see the villagers doing their thing in there. And I let them know. All this money I spent on renovations, I expect increased output from especially carrots and potatoes. The wheat guy's been doing well. <laughs> okay, we're going to check on the inside as well. I did a little bit more in that back room. And it's more of a concept than anything else, but I'm really excited about it. Looks about the same, huh? No, now there's a hole in the floor. Yep, big improvement. But for real, downstairs, we'll have like a slime drop here. And we have a use for all of the lime clay that I tore out of the farm buildings. I think we'll do lime clay down here. Should be looking good. But down here, we can do... We can do a lot of things. We can do probably storage for all the books and just keep armor and tools up there. And we can really expand throughout pretty much the entire base and get a second level with these sweet little slime block elevators to just pop you up. You can't even see it from the top, completely hidden. Nothing fancy like a string powered bud switch to open the door. It's just timer based. I uh, push the button, launches you on a little delay with the door opening to get you through and close just in time. We have a lot of room down here. This is cave, nothing going on. I think we're even be slightly below uh, the pumpkin farm, which is off in that direction. And then the only thing we really have to worry about as we move through the rest of the base would be like the water stream from the iron farm wherever that is but that could look cool if we made that glass so I'm excited about things we can do down there it really opens up the space a lot we can get a lot of storage in for all our books will probably be the first place we'll branch out and I love those little slime block launchers too next we are going to take a look at the other huge project I've been working on and that is the nether hub so let's let's get rid of that and let's swing on through to the nether side here we are alright we're gonna come yeah alright we're coming around the corner I've done a lot of work on the nether hub and there's still a lot to go this is one heck of a project starting off with the pathways Obviously, all this junk here will be removed eventually. Hopefully, there's no gas spawning on it in the meantime. But we have the whole walkway done. We're going to outline it with white glass. We've got a nice little railing there. I think it's cool. And then on the other side, we've got the light blue glass for the V4 vanilla co colors, white and light blue. And we're going to do a sweet logo in the middle. And this is where most of the work has been going on. I have this room pretty much completed. Check it out. Ooh. Yep, it's cool looking. Uh, RJ and I designed the the walls and the 
cut out sections and then RJ did the roof designed the roof but oh my gosh this was a worst roof I've ever built in my life this thing was such a pain with all the stairs there's stairs facing this way there's upside down stairs facing this way it's back and forth there was like 10 miles of scaffolding I built in here it was ugly for a while but now it's looking good there's a lot of wool in here which I'm scared about but it doesn't look like any of it has burned down yet and I don't hear any fire <laughs> so none of its burning right now I think and we'll see if that stays true when each of these cutouts above the doors is gonna get some lava hopefully it's far enough away from all the wool or protected enough we'll see this is the bulk of what I've been working on as you can see it's pretty awesome can't wait to get the floor in really complete the look as well as some kind of chandelier the holes that you see there and a few more here that aren't holes are going to be the prismarine lanterns, sea lanterns, whatever they're called. They also go here and here. So we need a lot of them, which means I think it's going to be time for me to hit a water temple coming soon. Since it doesn't look like a farm's going to happen, we're going to have to do it ourselves. That means raiding a temple and taking all the good stuff. As we swing on towards spawn, I wanted to check the shop today because I haven't been over here in pretty much forever. Hello, through the door please. Anybody else? Hey, some people are coming in. We got seven diamonds. That's a good look. Let's see what are their free stuff Fridays. A lot of our flowers are gone. Emeralds. What else do we need? Two diamonds. Maybe we do a little restocking today. I think I had some, some hay bales in here that I think are now gone. I don't even remember if they were in a one or two diamond chest, but we're going to have to restock that. Our wither skulls still looking good. Chest plates are good. Let's see downstairs and check out the books. I'm pretty sure we had a... Oh, that's almost gone. Death Strider, popular. Yeah, our books are looking good. Shop's good. The shop is good. Made a little bit of diamonds, more than I expected. Its spawn itself is looking really cool. I'm going to have to get a horse from Ector sometime soon, but I need a place to put it first. I want to go check out that chicken shop. We saw the chicken last time, and I thought it was just somebody playing a prank with his random chicken flying, but it's actually a store. So we're going to go see if we can buy some chicken. Kind of running out of food. Oop, that's a dead end. Under construction. Mm. Mm. I don't see. Maybe we sneak in. Maybe we just sneak. I love. I love going into houses that are under construction. I mean, don't do that. It's, it's not legal, and you shouldn't do it. Let's see, RJ extortion and C money are working hard. Hello. Can I have some chicken? This place doesn't look under construction. It looks fully constructed. Even an ender chest. Give me chicken. Get out of here. Nope, we were not here. Alright. Oh man, I haven't seen my creeper shop from up here. <laughs> it looks really cool. It kind of surprised me coming around the corner. Forgot it was there a little bit. Even though I built it. Let's see what else we have. We've seen the record shot. Lava Roulette. New mini game. Sounds sounds like a lot of death. <laughs> I think I'll I'm gonna spend some time in the mini game area in some up, upcoming episodes. I have a huge project planned over there. It's a really big game and gonna take a lot of time because that seems to be what I do these days on this server. Huge projects that kind of scare me and I'm scared to get finished. Let's check out death games. Paperfoot. He's not on right now, so. We don't have him to go kill. The last thing I wanted to do today... Come on over here. Check out what's been going on next to our schoolhouse. Glad to see 
we built this the little bridge and started working on this area and some other people are doing some things too I think I think somebody may have left me a present upstairs I'm gonna go check maybe not well the door's gone nope nothing here somebody was saying that they were gonna put a baby zombie up there and I guess they uh, couldn't quite couldn't get him wrangled in up there. Let's see what else. This looks like. This looks like really cool, is what it looks like. Alright, that little hole there is gonna bother me though. Let's fill that in. Already had dirt. I believe this is Ikari's fire station. So if you haven't seen his videos, be sure to go check him out. This is a really cool build. A whole lot of brick. I thought. I thought getting the brick from my schoolhouse was a pain. I imagine can't imagine how much uh, he had to go through to get that one. And then I saw that Doza was building a little some practice for him over here. The simulation faulty Christmas tree fire. So if you haven't seen Doza's latest video, go check that one out too. We got fireplace chimney fire. That's a nice chimney for a quick little build there stove kitchen fire I think all these buildings are gonna go down at one time candle fire they're all so close together oh, this one's not, not not quite ready yet this is cool little place for the firemen to do some training and we got a lot more room over here a lot more room I think ooh, it's getting dark though a lot of mobs spawning over here all right Whoa! Let's head back into the main part of spawn where it's a little more well lit. Come on, what am I stuck on? Really like that garden. Came across really nicely. The other thing that I want to do, and I'm gonna have to wait or talk to Digi on this, because I know Digi is planning on a some kind of farm. Yeah, farmhouse coming soon, right here. And I want some stairs so we can have access to this side of the mountain a little bit easier. So you don't have to only basically one access point and then another one in the back. Now we need an access point over here. So I'd like to see where he wants to put the farmhouse first so I can work the stairs around it. Stairs are very flexible. You can put them wherever. Farmhouse, not so much. He's a little more constricted space-wise on where that can go. So I'll give him... Give him a yell and see what he has plans for over here. That spawn is looking awesome. And the base is looking awesome and too. Really excited about what's going on over there. Oh, let's eat some food. And then I don't think I'm going to go into the creeper shop. I said we're not doing any creeper things. And I don't think anybody's buying stuff. So the last thing I want to do... It, hello. Get out of here. Is Oda's shop... Aha! It is. She has her new summer fashions in stock. And I really wanted to see if this light blue was going to be working well for me. I had a good feeling about it. I had a good feeling. Let's check it out. The light blue on the blue skin. Let's go over here. Check out the mirror. Hmm. I do like it. I think it needs maybe a darker pants to go with it. Like the, the black? Is it black? Is it gray? I don't know. Eh, yeah, you know, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Can I get a, a bright, like a poppy helmet? Mm, the blue. This kind of orangey thing? I feel like that's... Well, I think no helmets are good for me. It covers my eyes. Can't see. Not good. Let's go put this one back. Uh, yeah. I think I'll stick with these two. These two look nice. It's a good look. We could get, could get some boots on. We'll see. The blue again. Might go with the pants a little too similarly. Let's try these. That's not bad. Those are like work boots. Working hard. I feel like I have to do some, do some things wearing my work boots. I think we'll stick with these for now. I'll be back to drop off my payment. But for now, that's going to be it for me today. 
Yeah, I like my new clothes. I do. I don't want to get any creepers jumping on me. Not the safest place over here. Am I safe? Am I safe? I hope so. That's it for me today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.